Hello, my name is Zev Zalewski. I'm a faculty member in Barlan University in Israel, in Ramat Gan. Uh, my fields of research can be divided into two categories. The first one is related to nanophotonics, nanophotonic devices, and the other one is related to special optics. In nanophotonics, we try to develop nanoparticle-based active and passive devices, devices like modulators, uh, logic gates, uh, which can be used for optical data processing, which is uh, faster, uh, smaller, uh, and less power consuming in comparison to microelectronics. In the spatial optics category of research, we involved in uh, doing uh, super resolution for near field and far field, as well as in uh, remote sensing. In super resolution in near field, we try to improve the lateral as well as the axial resolution of uh, microscopes to allow to go below the optical wavelength. We do it uh, not in a fluorescence microscopy, but in a regular microscopy by uh, applying techniques involving nanoparticles. In um, a remote sensing of super resolution, we try to do also both, uh, improve the lateral resolution as well as the extended depth of focus, the axial resolution of an imaging system. A uh, part of our research uh, is uh, oriented towards homeland security applications and part of it for biomedical applications. In biomedical applications we try for instance to improve uh, by extending the depth of focus of uh, imaging lens like a contact lens or an intraocular lens. We try to solve the problem of presbyopia or astigmatism aberrations um, for people that uh, wearing contact lenses or people that had uh, cataract uh, surgery. In this uh, category of uh, spatial uh, optics, we also do remote sensing. Recently we were involved in a research project in which we were able to develop a, a new optical tool for remote sensing of various biomedical parameters. And the biomedical parameters that we were able to sense involve a heart uh, shape and rate, the, the beating of the, and the shape of the beating of the heart, as well as blood pulse pressure, which is the difference between the systolic and the diastolic pressures. We were able to estimate the glucose concentration in certain conditions, as well as the alcohol concentration in bloodstream. And recently we were able to uh, extract from a distance in a non-invasive way without contact the interocular pressure in the eye, which is a very important parameter for a disease called uh, glaucoma. Uh, we're also um, trying to apply those techniques not only for biomedical sensing, but also for um, homeland security applications in which we try to, for instance, to identify people from a distance according to the shape of the beating of their heart the mechanical signature of the beating of their heart. Um, this uh, technology is uh, interesting because it can actually extract uh, the biomedical parameters uh, f of all the subjects within a given field of view. So even if there are hundreds of subjects, we can extract this because the technology is based upon imaging uh, and not upon um, upon spatial imaging, so every subject, since it is located in different pixels within the image, can be separately uh, sensed and identified. The same technology can also be used to hear people from a distance. Uh, also to hear not only what they say, but for instance what is being said on the other side of the line of their cellular phones. So we have uh, one system currently that can do it from a distance of about 200 to 250 meters. All those topics that I have mentioned, it's not that we are developed them by ourselves. We have a lot of collaborations within Israel and outside with various research groups. For instance, one of the groups that we collaborate a lot with is the group of Javier Garcia from Valencia in Spain. In my university, engineers should do research which is always uh, very applied and we have a lot of connections with industries 
Uh, and some of the directions that I have mentioned are done in collaboration with various startup companies. Some of them are um, being um, as joint projects with larger companies. Every university in Israel has a commercialization company. It's part of the university. It belongs to the university. And its purpose is to support uh, researchers which are doing applied uh, research support them in uh, writing, submitting patents, and then making contacts with uh, potential uh, commercial uh, clients for the technology that they are developing, such that uh, startup uh, activities, companies will evolve uh, due to this uh, academic research. So this is common in every university in Israel, also in my university. In Israel there is also a quite a lot of uh, uh, venture capital going around and therefore uh, except of the activity that is encouraged by the university authorities uh, it's possible to, if you have an idea which is good for a startup company, it is possible to raise money for that.